and welcome. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. If you're already subscribed, welcome back and thank you. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and liking this video so you will be notified each week when I upload new content. Today I wanted to show you how to create a virtual waiting room. No need to be plain, boring, and simple. Let's dive in. So here we are in my virtual waiting room. Got my blank slate. Let's get started with the background. So I went to background. I'm gonna choose an image and I typed in room with arch window and it came up with all of these options. I really enjoy the beach, so I'm gonna go with this one. Your room can be whatever you want. So there's the basics of my waiting room. So I wanted to put something in my water. I didn't want it to look so plain. So I went to jiffy.com and I searched for whales. The trick here is to go to stickers. That way you don't have all the background included, but if you wanted to make that blend in as your background, you could do that. And then you get all of these options. These are the two little ones I chose, but you have many options here to choose from. Click on the little link. It's copied to my clipboard. Go back to my presentation. I'm gonna to go to insert image by URL. Control V will paste that image. Insert. Now I just need to shrink them down and make them fit out in the water. The smaller they are, the further away they look. And because I can't layer these, I wanna make sure they fit within the door so they don't look like they're on the door or on the bush. That looks about right. The next thing I need is I want an easel to welcome people so when they log into my Google Meet, whatever meeting I'm hosting, that they'll see this slide and they'll have a welcome sign to meet them. So now I'm going to insert image, search the web, and I need an easel. And I want the background to be transparent. So you can look through. They have all kinds of easels with transparent backgrounds. I actually like this first one with a little bit of the wood going on. I'm gonna insert, I'm gonna crop it down. I'm gonna drag it into place. It's angled really nicely, so I do like that. And then I want my welcome. I want that kind of to be animated as well. So I went back to jiffy.com and I just typed in welcome. And then of course stickers. This, you could do this one with the water in the background. And then just look through. Which animation welcome would you like to use? This is a nice one, welcome. There's many nice ones. I'll do this one right here. Click on the link, it's copy to the clipboard. Go back to your presentation. The same way you enter, inserted the wells, go to insert image by URL. Control V will paste it in, insert. And then we just gotta shrink it down to fit our easel, our whiteboard here. Maybe angle it a little bit because of the angle of the whiteboard will help. Shrink it down and drag it into position. There we go. And I like to let my students, cause this is normally for my students, I want them to know to unmute their mic and to say hello. That way I don't have to keep looking to see, did someone just come in? I know they're gonna say hello to me. I'm just going to go to insert and I'm going to go to text box or you could have just clicked on this T here with text box. I'm going to put my text box inside here. So here I want to tell them to unmute their mic and say hello. If I triple click this, it'll highlight it all. I can center it. I can come up here and bold it. I could even change the font if I would like. And there you have it. Present this, share this screen. And when people log into your meeting, this is the first thing they will see. And they can say hello, you can help them out. Hope you found this video helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day.